The introduction of responsive design in Adobe Muse enabled the optimization of page elements on every device from desktop monitors down to smartphones. Now that's pretty empowering for you as a web designer, but it also adds a whole new level of complexity to your design process. Not only do you need to make sure page elements look good, but that they look good on multiple breakpoints. So if we look at the pigeon design here, I have this nice landing page. And as I scroll down on the page, I had a number of images that I wanted to tile out in the design. And what I chose to do is on the desktop layout, have these six tiles span the full width of the page. If I drag the browser down now to the tablet layout, you'll notice right before I get there, those tiles, those squares are getting awfully small. So I made the decision that on a tablet layout, I would go ahead and have the six tiles stacked three across and then three across. If I press and drag again to jump to the phone layout, you'll notice I not only went two across instead of three, but I actually hid two of the tiles so that I have a total of four instead of six because phone layouts are much smaller and I didn't really feel like I needed all of the images on that layout. Now what I'd like to do in my design is reuse these tiles on another page, but I don't want to go through all of the effort of recreating each of the breakpoints for the tiles. Improvements to both the Adobe Muse library panel and the Creative Cloud library panel are going to make this task a whole lot easier. Let me go ahead and show you that in the application. So I'll switch back over to Adobe Muse, and I'm here on the landing page. And as I skip through each of these breakpoints, notice the desktop layout has the six tiles across. I jump to tablet, and there are six broken into two columns. And then on the phone layout, I have just the four tiles. What I want to do is come in and select any of the breakpoints. It really doesn't matter. And I'll press and drag to get the group of tiles here. And I want to add it into first my library panel. So to do that, I'll open up the library panel here. And I'm going to add it into my Danny Shuttle folder. This is something I use to move content between projects. So I'll right click on those tiles. And I'm going to select to go ahead and add to a library. I only have one, so it's going to put it in that Danny Shuttle folder. And I'll give it a name. We'll call it Tiles. Now what I can do is come back to the site plan. And here within the site plan, what I want to do is add a new page to the site. I want to show you a couple different options with this new feature. So I'm going to click to add a page, and I'll call it Contact Us. And to keep things simple, I'm going to keep it out of the menus. I'm going to double click on that page and zoom out so that I can see its content. Now there's a few ways I can drag those tiles onto the canvas. Notice the breakpoint bar at the top of this page. It has a number of breakpoints that have been defined on the master, but this actual page does not have any breakpoints of its own. If I come and select the tiles, but I press and drag from the name tiles, not this icon on the right, just press and drag and drop that onto the canvas, the behavior is probably what you would expect from the past. I get my six little tiles, and if I drag the edge of the browser, they just scale. There's no behavior where it's actually breaking for tablet and smartphone. I'm going to come in and delete them. And this time when I drag from the library, I want to drag with the breakpoints. So I'll press and drag that onto the canvas. Doesn't look like all that much just happened that would be different, but something really did happen. So notice as I put those into position, I now have a breakpoint at 900 and a breakpoint at 480. If I jump to 900, I do need to move these up on the page. But I have that nice tablet layout that we defined with the 3x3. Three three. And if I go to the phone layout, again, I can select those objects, move them up on the page, and I get only four images instead of six. And they're stacked two over two. So I can magically come in and bring over not only all the breakpoints, but create breakpoints as I work when I drag them out of the library by selecting from that icon. Now I do want to mention that some of this functionality has also been added into the Creative Cloud library. 
Creative Cloud libraries have the added benefit of being very easy to share with other users, other collaborators out there in the world. If I come back out to my site plan, and I double-click on the home page once again, and let's go ahead and step out. I'm going to select the same tiles, and this time I'm going to go to the Creative Cloud library, and I'm going to add those tiles to my project. So I'll click on the plus sign, select Add, and I'll give these a name. We'll call them Tiles 2, just so that we don't get confused, and I'll hit Return. Now if I go back out to my site plan once again, and I'm just going to come in and create a new page for a moment, and we'll call this one nothing, and we'll exclude it from the navigation. Let's go on into the nothing page. If I select those tiles, so let's search for them, tiles two, and I press and drag them onto the canvas, Notice it's going to come in and create the six little tiles, which is great. There's no new breakpoints that get created. So to be honest, Creative Cloud libraries don't have that added feature of creating a breakpoint that is not there already. If I jump back out and go back to that Contact Us page, and let's just say I want to come in and delete the tiles. I'll select all and I'll hit delete. I now have a page that has breakpoints that match the page where I copied those tile two elements from, right? I can see them here, 900 and 480. In the instance where you already have matching breakpoints, both from the page you're dragging into the Creative Cloud library and the page you want to drag it out, it will indeed retain the breakpoints. So if I come to tiles two here, press and drag it now onto this page and move it into position, I can jump over to the 900 point, move them again into position. And to the phone layout, I'll come and move these into position as well. So the big difference is Creative Cloud libraries right now don't create the breakpoints for you, but they will preserve those breakpoints if they're already on the page you're dragging onto. I encourage you to go ahead and experiment with these new productivity features. I think you'll enjoy working with them.